Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this very important tutorial on problem solving in section one of the BMAT, where we're going to be focusing on cube questions. In cube questions, you'll be given a cube or a net of a three dimensional cube which contains unique digits, symbols, or other markings on each face, and you will be required to answer and identify many different things. This includes a cube created from the net which is shown. Here, they will give you an unfolded cube spread out, and you have to deduce what the cube will look like once it has formed. Other questions ask you to look for the opposite face of a cube from three views that are shown. You will be expected to adjust between different views of the same cube or shape. You will also be required to see an unfolded pattern which makes up the 3D cube displayed. Now this is the opposite to the one I described at the beginning. They will ask you to work backwards from the cube to identify the folded net that could have made the cube. We will now go through some examples for these questions as they do tend to come up a lot. In terms of technique, there are several ways to go about answering them. Many students actually have a knack for answering these sorts of questions, and it really requires no effort at all. But for other people like me, who really, you know, can't get their head around shapes, cubes, that's why they can't open up a cube in their head, you know, like, when I'm doing these questions, people are just like, why can't you just see it in your head? But a lot of people can't, including myself, so I've come up with lots of tips and techniques to help you avoid and overcome this obstacle if you do have it. Okay, The best way to answer these questions is to try and visualise it, as I said, but if you can't, we can use elimination on other methods that we will go into detail now. The first type of question you can get, as I described, is a cube to an opposite side question. Here, you will be given three cubes and you will be asked to find what is opposite a certain shape. You should look at the cubes you have been presented with and use a process of elimination to rule out any options which do not follow logical reasoning as the faces are adjacent to each other. So in essence, the same cube will be shown in three different views and you'll have to try and figure out what the missing face is. Here it is an example that we're going to work through now. If you want to have a go at, your, at it yourself, pause the video now. So the answer you should have gotten here is C. Okay? Now, a good thing to note here is if you can see a shape that is on the same illustration as the paperclip, then you know it can't be opposite to it because it has to be adjacent to it. This means we can rule out the football, the science shape, and the duck. So that's A, B, and D. That leaves us with C anyway. But just to confirm, C has edges which are shared with B and D which will be consistent with the third cube that is shown. This means that C is the correct answer. Okay, so did you see here how I didn't even need to visualise, I just used the process of elimination and logic. Okay. A good thing to know is also that each symbol is only ever used once. So you could have just compared the first and third cube the third cube shows a 90 degree rotation clockwise of the first cube, looking at it from above. Immediately from that, we know that C will be opposite the paperclip. So do you see here, there's lots of different ways you could have answered this question without even having to visualise it. The next type of questions you can get are net to cube questions. Here, you'll be given a net and you'll have to identify which cube it corresponds to. Use the principles you've just learned from answering the first example. Have a go at this example now by pausing the video. We'll go through it in detail following on. So the answer you should have gotten here is A. To answer this question, it is important to try and visualise how the cube would look if it is folded up. Now, remember what I said, if you can't visualise it, as many people can't, there will always be a trick to answer them. Look closely at the net of the box and look for the box which is adjacent to the box that is adjacent to the box in question. Now, that might sound really, really confusing, but I'm going to explain that now. 
So on the actual cube, these two shapes have to be opposite to each other because following our rule, next to the adjacent pattern is opposite to the previous pattern. The cross and the little cogwheel are one apart, therefore they will be opposite each other on the cube. This doesn't fit with B, okay, because they're shown to be adjacent on the cube, when they in fact should be opposite to each other. We therefore rule out B, okay? The same can be done for two more shapes. On the actual cube, these two will be opposite each other, since again, they are one apart. But on C, they are shown to be adjacent to each other on the cube, when they should in fact be opposite. We can therefore rule out C now. So the only two options we really have are A and D. Now, we also know that these two shapes will also be opposite each other as well, okay? This is an important thing to bear in mind. So in a cube, whenever you've got, you know, the two kind of outside boxes, they will always be opposite each other. On D, they are shown to be adjacent when they should in fact be opposite. We therefore rule out D as well. This leaves us with the correct answer, which is A. Okay? So did you see what I did there? I combined the process of elimination and looked at which shapes appear opposite on the net. Okay? To find out if two things are opposite, they have to be one apart. And to summarise this, I put the information in here. So whatever is colour-coded will appear opposite. Now whatever net you see, try and memorise this piece of information, okay? I really hope I've helped you answer Q questions a lot more easier now. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this free BMAT tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock the rest of the 100 tutorials and all 8 ebooks, click here now.